Hey guys, welcome back to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel. It's Lauren here from Furniture Flipping Teacher, and we're back here for another flip, but not a furniture flip this time. We're flipping home decor. Today, we are going to be flipping these two lamps. They're very out of date right now, but we are going to turn them into more modern home decor pieces. I've been looking for some lamps, some matching lamps that are out of date to flip to make more modern for some time now. So I finally came across these lamps for just $5 each at a thrift store. And I am excited because I've never done this before. I've seen it done a couple of times, but I'm also gonna be using some Dixie Belle products that I've never used before. Everything that I'm gonna use right now, you can find down below in the links in the description. And I would love for you guys to comment and ask questions because this is my first time. And so I'm just excited to go through my first experience with you guys, but also I would love to respond to comments on things that I've learned. If you guys have any questions of projects that you are going to work on. I don't know if you knew this, but Dixie Bell paint is not only good for furniture projects, but it can also be used on different things around the house. Things like lamps, things like cabinets and multiple other types of things. So let's jump right in and start with cleaning. Before we clean, we need to get rid of the most out of date part of these lamps, which is the lampshade. These shape of lampshades just aren't in style anymore. So we're going to be replacing those. But for now, we're just gonna set those aside. And like I said, we're going to start by cleaning. It's essential that you clean before every single project that you do. So that way the paint and any product that you use can really stick to that surface. Okay, so as I said, because of this very glossy surface, because these are glass, I need to roughen it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a rad pad, a very fine rad pad, just to give it a little bit of texture. So I'm just gonna be rubbing this along the glass. You won't really be able to see it too much, but it will roughen up the surface just a little bit. Okay, and again, we'll just kind of wipe back any of that dust that we created from the sanding. But then comes the most essential part of this transformation. I'm gonna be using a product that is a primer, but it's not Boss. So Dixie Belle has a couple of different primers. The first one is the one that we all know, which is Boss, and that is going to be a stain blocking primer. And it also blocks odors and things like that. It is not an adhesion primer, which means that the purpose of it is not to help the paint stick to the surface. But they do have a product that is called Slick Stick, and that is an adhesion primer. And this is going to help the paint really stick and bond to the surface of these lamps. I am going to use an oval mini brush to apply my Slick Stick. Really, I like to keep a brush for any sort of primer, so I always use the oval mini brush for my primer on furniture or on anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush in and go ahead and paint onto the surface. And we wanna just cover that surface pretty well. You can go in any different direction that you wanna go just as long as we cover the entire surface. Okay, the first one's done. And so we'll just set that aside and do the next one. Okay. Both lamps are 
painted with the slick stick so that does need to dry for about two to three hours in order for it to bond to that surface and create the surface to where the paint will bond to so dry time all right we're back it's the next day and i actually ended up doing another coat of the slick stick on the lamps because the directions say after you let the first coat dry for two to three hours then you need to apply another coat and let that dry overnight so i didn't do that on camera because i just painted the same exact things that i painted the first time so those are all dry now and we're ready to get into the actual process of painting these and transforming them so I'm going to be using a product that I've never used before, but I'm excited because I've seen other people use it and this is going to add some texture and some dimension to these lamps. Instead of just making them a solid color, we're going to be adding a little bit of texture. So Dixie Bell has a product called Sea Spray and it is a texture additive and it comes in this bag here and then you open it up and it has its own scoop like this and what you're going to do is it says to add two scoops to eight ounces of paint i don't know if i'm going to use eight ounces so i'm going to actually half that recipe and we're going to do four ounces of paint and one scoop so i'm going to be using the color hurricane gray and this is these lamps i actually decided as i was doing the process that i want these in my own bedroom on both sides of our bed so we've got some darker tones black and charcoal gray and so i decided that since my nightstands are black i'm going to go with gray for the actual lamps and then the lamp shades are going to be white so i'm going to add about four ounces of this hurricane gray into this cottage cheese container no shame i reuse different containers so that i don't have to go out buying some and next i am going to be adding a scoop of the sea spray and you're just going to make sure that it's level and you're going to add that in to set that aside and then i've just got a stir stick here and we're going to stir that all together till it's all mixed nicely and the directions tell me that it needs to be like a peanut buttery substance so it's going to have that sort of texture to it so here is the texture of this. It's definitely got some texture added. It's definitely like peanut butter to where it's very thick, definitely different than we're used to. Okay, so now that we're all mixed up, it says that we need to use a paintbrush. And so I'm gonna use the flat. So I'm gonna just dip it into the paint mixture and then we're going to dab it on and smooth it out. And But we're going to also be forming crests and peaks. So that means that we want it to be off of the lamp a little bit. We don't want it to necessarily be all the way smooth. So I'm going to just go ahead and dab this on. You can dab it on such as this. You can smooth it out a little bit even but it doesn't have to be all smooth because the whole point of this is that we want it to be texturized. Okay, got the first one done. It's got a lot of texture on it. We may need to do a second coat because this is, a little bit of the white is peeking out, but this is giving me total like concrete vibes. So I'm really liking the way that this is turning out. Uh, this one's gonna dry now. I'm gonna bring this one over so that we can do the same exact process. All right, there we are. First coat is on both lamps, so we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna come back and see what we need to do once everything dries.
We are getting very close to the end of this project. All we've got left is the top coat and to put the lampshades back on. So I did go ahead and do a second coat of the sea spray texture and it's really looking good. Like I said, it's reminding me a lot of concrete or cement and I love that look. I didn't know how I was gonna like this look, but the texture is just really making it more and more modern and I'm really glad that I chose the gray. So in order to top coat it, because yes, even lamps need to be protected, I am going to be using Big Mama's Butter. This is also a protective coat along with a wood revitalizer and things like that, but I'm gonna use it as a top coat today. This is also gonna give me a pretty good smell in our room next to our bed, so that's gonna be pretty awesome because uh, if you've never smelled the orange grove, it really smells amazing. Uh, I could just smell it all day. I know it's kind of weird, but seriously, it's so good. I am just going to be taking this La Petite brush here, and it's a natural bristle brush. I tend to take one brush and have it for specific products. So like this one is my orange grove one. I've got one that's my one for Suzanne's garden. I've got some best dang brushes for the wax and so on and so forth. So if you are, you know, waxing lots of things or using Big Mama's butter on a lot of things, maybe that's a good idea for you as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some on my brush. And then this is going to darken up the gray just a tad bit. Mm. All right, one done, one to go. And you can kind of see the difference of them. This one's just a tad bit darker and it is a little bit more shiny right now because it's wet. Once it dries out, probably about a couple of hours, I would say, then it won't be as glossy. It'll definitely dry with a more matte finish. So keep that in mind when you're using Orange Grove or any Big Mama's Butter. So I'm gonna set this one aside and we'll move on to the next one over here. You know, this project is a really fun change of pace for me. Usually we're out in the shop and we've got big, huge pieces of furniture and you know, tend to need a little bit more room for those. But these lamps are awesome because I'm making over something still using Dixie Bell's products, but I can do it in the comfort of my own home. We're sitting here on my kitchen table. So if you maybe don't have a lot of space for furniture, flips or you're waiting on a couple of things to sell and you don't have a lot of room to store furniture, think about doing some smaller projects of any home decor, vases, lamps, things like that, that maybe you don't need as much space to do the actual project and also to store the actual project. Maybe you have some out of date lamps laying around your house and you're like, ugh, those are just so hideous and you need to revamp them. Well, I hope that this video is coming at the right time for you. This is a really quick DIY project. Everybody loves a good DIY. Like I'm not even selling these lamps, so you don't have to sell everything that you create. It's sometimes also fun to keep it for your own house. Okay, Big Mama's Butta is on. Before I maneuver these and move them around too much, I'm gonna let that cure for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then we'll come back, we'll put the lampshades on, and we'll have the final product ready. All right, it's time for the last step, which is to assemble the lamps. And I just went to Walmart and I grabbed some lampshades. They are about $15 a piece, so not really too bad. That's gonna make basically each lamp about $20. And I don't think that you could get a lamp looking like this for $20 in very many places. On top of that, we're also saving things from the landfill, so that's another perk. I am going to be taking off the plastic 
of these lamp shades. There's a couple of different styles. You could have, I could have done something a little bit more even expensive than these just plain lamp shades, but I didn't think that we needed to go all out. I just want something plain and simple. So that is why I just chose these white lampshades. And once I put these babies on, this will be finished. Okay. And then we can even go ahead and put the light in there. I sort of had to take apart the lamp a little bit more. I had to take this part off because it just, that's not how these lampshades worked. They, if I would have left that on there, these were sitting like way up here and I wanted these to definitely cover this area with the light like you're supposed to have a lampshade do. So I did go ahead and remove that part and then I'm just kind of rigging it by setting it right on here. And let's do this one. And voila, we are done. We've got two finished products. I love, love, love the way that they look. I cannot wait to see them in my bedroom. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this flip. It was pretty fun for me, again, like I said, to step outside of the box from what I normally do. This flip was just nice and quick and very easy as well. I think overall, uh, not including drying time and things like that, I think I was working for maybe an hour. So definitely not a long process at all. There's a total of five coats of different things on here. Just to remember that I did use that slick stick in order to get that glossy surface bondable. So I needed that paint to bond to the surface. So I definitely needed to use two layers of slick stick. And then I used two layers of the paint with the sea spray texture additive. And then one final layer of the orange grove, big mama's butter. And I think that it turned out amazing. I can't believe that these two lamps used to be uh, that very interesting baby blue color with those yellowish creamish lampshades that were just no longer in style. So anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get subscribed down below because we'll be back for another FFT Friday next week, as well as over on my channel, Furniture Flipping Teacher, because we're always over there with different videos. We got vlog style videos. We've got furniture flipping videos. We've got house style videos. So tons of different things over there. Head over there and we'll see you next time. See you on the flip side.